Let's start with demonstration question 2-1. A business has assets of 148,000 and liabilities of 111,000 at the beginning of the year. At the end of the year, total assets were 162,000 and equity was 69,000. After analyzing the information, answer the questions that follow. Let's analyze the information using the regular structure. Assets, liabilities, and equity. Want the plus and the equal sign. We want the opening or beginning. Then what happened during the year? And that should give us the closing. Input all the known numbers. So they had assets of 148,000 and liabilities of 111,000 at the beginning of the year. At the end of the year, total assets were 162,000 and equity was 69. Now that we've put in all the known numbers, we solve for the unknown numbers. Remember when we're solving these that each of these is an individual equation. Opening works independently of everything else. During, we can do the same thing. And then ending. We can also work in columns. This line is an equal sign. So we can choose which way we want to work. I'm going to work in the rows. 148 is equal to 111,000. So 148 minus 111,000 is equal to 37,000. Closing. 162,000 is equal to X plus 69,000. 162,000 minus 69,000 is equal to 93,000. I can now use the columns to calculate the during. 148,000 plus X is equal to 162. So if I take 162 and subtract 148, I get 14,000. 93,000 minus 111 is equal to negative 18,000. 69,000 minus 37,000 is equal to 32,000. So we've solved for every unknown number. Let's go down and look at the additional questions. Did liabilities increase or decrease and by what amount? Well, we know from our chart that liabilities decreased. By how much? $18,000. B. What is likely to have caused the change in liabilities? What causes liabilities to decrease? Well, there's a number of things, but probably the most common reason, debt was paid off. If we pay off debt, it would decrease the liabilities that are outstanding and need to be settled in the future through an outflow of cash, goods, or services. Let's see if there's any additional questions. Did equity increase or decrease and by what amount? Well, if we look back at the chart, we know that equity increased and it increased by 32,000. D, what may have caused the change in equity? Give two possible reasons. So why would equity increase? Well, there's a number of reasons, but the main one is probably new capital contributions by the owners. We need to give two possible reasons. Well, if revenues increase by more than expenses, then profit would increase. And if profit increases and we don't pay it out in dividends, then the retained earnings go up and the equity goes up. It's important to know how to calculate those numbers, but even more important to be able to describe why those numbers changed. Thanks for watching.